Hey friends, I'm back. It's right here with the Messing Machine Sewing where I sew bags, purses, backpacks, totes, everything on my domestic machines. I do have a semi-industrial machine. It's not industrial, but semi-industrial and it does sew three thicker stuff than my regular domestic that I use. Uh, the main domestic machine I use is my Janome 300. No, 3000. What is it? Janome 3000, HD 3000 senior moment and then um, I use my Juki uh, 2010Q for a lot of other stuff that's thick and it won't go through but you can sew a lot of bags on your domestic machines and that was my goal of this uh, channel was to encourage y'all that you can do it it's not always easy but it's not always easy on industrial and semi-industrial machines it's just sometimes you have to work through the curves which I hate sewing curves but that's what most bags have and um I'm still getting better at it, hopefully. And, um, but you can do it. So I hope this channel will be encouraging to you. We are almost at 500 subscribers. I'd love to get to a thousand so we can have a live and communicate with one another live. That would be fun. I don't know if I could do it because, you know, I have trouble walking and chewing bubble gum at the same time. But that would be fun. But I think I have 10 more subscribers and it'll be 500. So that'd be exciting. So I would love it. If you would give me a thumbs up and that you would share this video with your friends that have domestic machines or people that just want to watch people sew on regular machines, home machines. But I wanted to give you some updates that uh, what's been going on with me. I'm very busy because it's the time of year for Christmas, which I'm sure y'all are too, trying to get Christmas wars in. I did 20 ornament, uh, and board ornaments for some missionary friends of mine. Um, and each ornament takes about 40 minutes for one ornament. Yes. So this is the one that they, I did, but I put their country that they're missionaries to in. And because I only have a single machine, I have to change. The regular stitching takes 30 minutes, but then I have to change the thread because it's a single machine and single needle machine. And, um, so it's about 40 minutes because I got... I got about four color changes, four or five color changes, and I dropped some stuff. Let me get it. And then I've been going around my room trying to clean up. For one, I got company coming Thursday. And so I want, you know, this is a guest bedroom. So, you know, as sewers, we make a mess when we sew and craft. So I got to find room for them to even walk in, <laughs> walk in the room because I've got about five machines in here. Um, besides my cutter and all that stuff, but, um, so I have to make room for them. So what I did, I went around my room and stuff I started that I hadn't completed yet, I started sewing on. So I had these to make lanyards out of and I hadn't finished sewing them together. So all I have to do now is put the bottom hook thing to it and then, oops, I didn't mean to hit you, uh, shake you, um, and then put the lanyard on it. I also finished, I told you about those headbands I saw the headbands. I love this fabric and it's so soft and it stretches. So this is like a medium, small to medium head, not real thick hair. And this is kind of a medium. Don't you love this fabric? So soft, so soft. And then I got the large for like my daughter. Her hair's not, head's not real big, but she's got all this thick hair. She's got lots and lots of hair. Also, my husband and I went to a college football game, and you know you have to uh, take in uh, clear vinyl bags, clear bags. And so, of course, I didn't want to buy one because, you know, we can make it. It's just finding the time. So I made me a clear bag crossbody that I could take in. I still have some receipts in there. It's all messy because it was my um, hand sanitizer spilled out. I used a zipper, not from my handmade space that I've had forever. And I thought, well, I'll use that and put it together. And I used a strap I'd already made. I just, you know, unhook it and put it together. So that I did. Now I'm making lap quilts for my kids. Um, shh, don't tell them. They don't watch my videos, so I know they're not going to see this. But I've been watch I'm making lap quilts. And so I was given a bunch of material. Um, and one of them was jean material. And I love jean lap quilts because all you have to do is put um, 
flannel back and you don't have to put a, a batting in it and it's thick enough because of the jeans. And so here's one, I'm gonna get up so you can see it. Here's one, I'm almost done, got one more row. Oops, I moved you. I got caught on my chair. Let's see if I can get that uncaught. Okay, so now it's caught on my shoe. I'm a mess, y'all know I'm a mess, right? So, here's the lap quilt. I haven't put the back on it yet. These are seven and a half inch squares, so that's what I've been working on. I sewed it on my um, Juki 2010Q. That's the first one. And I think, oh, Joanne's had uh, this flannel uh, fabric 60% off. And it may still be on through this Wednesday, I think. Today is Monday the 11th. And so I've got two yards of this. And so I'm trying to decide, do I want to do another one like this? Because my daughter's married and I thought about putting, making them the same for her husband and her. Or use it for the backing of this one and just buy more flannel. And then I'm going to do another jean one with this and this jean material for another lap quilt. Um, so that's what I've been working on. But also I wanted to share with you. I've been looking um, for iPhone bags to sew because, um, you know, I said that I was going to do that next and someone said they would like that. I can't remember who, I'm sorry. Um, so, you know, I, I did this one, created without a pattern, but I was looking for a pattern. Um, I just don't want to do brain work right now. <laughs> Give me a pattern, make it easy for my life right now. So I found one and it's a German pattern maker. It's all in German, but you can buy an English, um, she had a British flag. You can buy an English pattern. And so I did, I've downloaded it, but I haven't, up, I haven't, you know, printed it out and cut it out or anything, but it's the coolest little iPhone bag. It's probably about this size, maybe a little bit smaller, maybe, little, yeah, I think it's about the size from the pictures. And, but, She's got several pockets, like when you open it up, she's got several pockets that you can use. Well, the pattern comes with um, like foldable out pockets that you can do, like the NCW wallet, you know how it kind of folds out. And also a middle zipper. You can do two folds and a middle zipper in the iPhone bag. I thought, I like that. So, I bought it. And it's hard to understand her website because it's all in German and, but the pattern is in English and to, um, I had to keep going to translator to know what I was doing when I was purchasing it because I didn't know what words were and, um, but I'll share with you when I, I don't remember her name. I think it was, um, Hans Adeli, Hans Adeli, H-A-N, I'm sure I'm not pronouncing it right, S-E-D-E-L-L-I dash something hands daily patterns look it up you might be able to find it but anyway i'm excited about that pattern i'll let you know and i'll film that and hopefully i can film it soon uh, next week my daughter's coming into town for fall break i think i said that and then i've got guests coming in thursday also um, from out of town they're on the way back to florida so they're stopping in to see us but that is what i've been doing i hope you've had a lot of sewing getting a lot of sewing done and I hope that you'll stick with me, even though I have been not putting up videos like I want. It's just life is busy right now. And I think, I don't know if I told you this, but I did put on my Facebook page. I am closing my booth in the neighboring town because I just can't keep up with it all. Um, but my daughter, I don't know, did I tell you all this in the beginning? My daughter, uh, who majors in media communications, I'm going to pause this because I don't know if I said that or not. Let's Okay, I'm going to leave that bloop in there. I did not tell y'all this, but I am closing my neighboring booth, uh, my booth in the neighboring town. Um, just life is too busy with all the orders I have. And this is usually at Christmas time, which y'all know, because y'all probably had the same thing. But um, my daughter who majors in ma media communications will be making me a website. And so we have to take all the pictures and get the pricing and the shipping and all that. So hopefully by at least mid-November, hopefully sooner, uh, that will be up and I will share with that with you on my Facebook page. Remember my Facebook page is under Renee Perry, uh, just one E at the end, Renee Perry. 
My parents didn't know how to spell. Because Rene, R-E-N-E, is a masculine in French. Rene, R-E-N-E-E, -E, is the feminine. So I guess they wanted a boy. But they got me. So anyways, uh, that is what I'm doing. Please stay with me and don't leave me. I have missed y'all and I'm going to get some sewing videos in here uh, hopefully soon. Let me know what y'all are doing in the comments. Visit my Facebook page. I try and keep up with that and, and share what I've been doing. And I've got a purse order on and that I need to get done. And I've also got 10 more ornaments to do. 40 minutes a piece. Yeah, 40 minutes a piece. But while I was doing that on the last 20 I did, I did the quilt. No, wait, not that one. I did my other quilt. I finished the king size, all the squares to my king size uh, quilt that I was doing. Let me get it. Hang on one second. Let me make sure I don't pull you down like I did last time. Let me reach over here. Don't look at my points because they're not perfect. Uh, I don't claim to be a excellent, an excellent quilter. I don't claim to be an excellent sewer. I just do the best I can. So these blocks I finished. There was like, um, I think there was like a hundred I had to do. So while I was the embroidery, in between the embroidery and changing threads, I was doing this. So I laid them out all on my bed and I'll put a picture up. If I can figure it out, I'll put a picture up how I laid it out on my bed. It's on my Facebook page if you want to go to my Facebook page. Just Renee Perry, not the J Renee. That's not me, the Renee Perry. Um, and uh, see, I laid it out on my bed so you can see what it's going to look like. I just need to sew those squares together and I need to put uh, like a two and a half inch or two inch um, strips around it. I'm probably going to do like a four inch strip, two inch strip, four inch strip, and that should be long enough to hang on the side because this quilt just barely hangs over the side and I want it you know, to drape down. And so um, that should do it. And back I put all that together. But I was just proud to finish the squares because that was a lot of squares for a king size quilt. And then I did this. This lap quilt took no time. The cutting is the worst, of course, you know. Hate cutting, but it is what it is. And if, in order to sew, to get my therapy in, I need to cut. So um, that's what I did. I love doing this. This was so easy. So, so easy. And I, don't, I didn't have a quilter square. I just used my rotary cutter and my ruler and did seven and a half inches. And I've got another stack over there I need to finish cutting. And um, I think I'm good with these to finish this one. I know I'm good with the finish this one. I just got to decide if I'm going to do another one like it. But anyway, I think that's all I've been doing. Just a little bit. Let me see. Let me look around the room. Make sure I'm not missing anything. I think that's it. Oh, I did do a hat. You know, I embroider hats too. And I have several hats. I probably need to get that done and put it in the store and try and sell it. But I can put it on my website. Just something different. So... I'm so glad that y'all still hang with me and I pray that you still will and give me a thumbs up and share this so we can get to a thousand. 500 would be great. And uh, maybe I'll have a giveaway at 500. That's only 10 more. Maybe I'll give away the winch. Let's see. This is the winch that I like, that I did. On my domestic machine, I did the winch by Tori. Oops. The only thing is, he snaps, so you have to be careful. Um... These snaps, you have to line. I don't know if y'all can see. See those lines right there? They go across. Those little lines. You have to ha line them up. Well, that's what I found in order for it to snap right. So that's what I tried doing on this one. This is a little, you have to work with it. This one. But it works. I said it works. There you go. I have to use two hands because I'm a weakling. But uh, I love this wallet. And I did it on my domestic machine. It's got a little pocket in the front. I love the silver zippers with it. So maybe if I get to 500 by next week, 
I'll have a drawing. Would y'all like that? Comment down below. Let me know if you like that. If you like this winch. My other winch, I tried gluing the snaps because, you know, I forgot to put um, backing for this so they don't come apart. Because, you know, that's a lot of unsnapping and snapping. But I did was able to put some glue on these. But it didn't show through. Well, on the other one, it did. So, that's going to be a giveaway to a family member. <laughs> so, that's the winch wall. Maybe I'll give that away if we reach 500 within the next week or so. Would love it. Okay, I love you guys. Um, keep sewing and keep following me. I, I hope you will. And give me a, make, forget to give me a thumbs up and share with your friends. Don't forget to comment below if you'd like to, to win the winch wallet. Should I save that for 500 or 1,000? I don't know. Y'all let me know. Take care and I hope to see you soon. Now let me find my little clicker. Click y'all off. Oh. You know me. Technical difficulty on every video, but I'm going to leave it in there just so y'all can have a fun laugh.